the podcast. Just search for Hancock and Kelly. After being indicted in Georgia, former President Donald Trump promised to unveil the proverbial smoking gun at a news conference tomorrow, proving election fraud in that state. He now has canceled that news conference. His former vice president says there is no such smoking gun. The Georgia election was not stolen, and I had no right to overturn the election on January 6th. Now, Mr. Trump and Mr. Trump and 18 of his allies have until Friday to surrender on criminal charges of conspiring to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election results. President Biden won the state by less than one quarter of one percent. Donald Trump is also skipping the first debate as of right now of 2024 in the Republican presidential candidates debates. That's set for Wednesday night. Michael, how much or how little trouble is Donald Trump in politically and criminally? Well, criminally, it's big. And and ultimately, I think he is going to wind up being convicted on at least one of these 80 charges that he's up for. Um, And that will be interesting. Uh, Politically, he's probably in a good spot because I cannot fathom why 30 to 40 percent of this Republican Party is so obsessed with this man that's a complete charlatan that can continues to lie to them. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the latest on how this election was stolen. It's just, isn't it old and tired? Why is he really skipping the debate if he, well, I mean, there's some speculation. Maybe he'll jump up and show up at the last minute. Or something. I don't think so. I mean, you know, if you're winning, it's a multi-candidate field. You're north of 50 percent in the polls. There's no incentive to show up. I mean, that's just traditional political orthodoxy. And I do think... What about the criminal stuff? Yeah. Most people aren't paying very close attention to this, Andy. And for most people, they, they feel like the guy's being piled on. And unless you're paying attention to the seriousness and the detail of these charges, and they are serious charges, the appearance is he's just being jumped on, and there's a sympathy factor out there, and it's enhancing his lead in the, in the GOP. President Biden faces growing criticism over the response to tragic fires and the loss of life in Hawaii. He continues to languish in polls as well, especially on the issue of the economy. Still, he touted his economic record in a visit to Milwaukee. The poor have a ladder up, the middle class have a good shot, and, and, and the wealthy do very well. The Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal initially called my plan Bidenomics. I'm not sure they meant it in a totally complimentary way at the time. (laughs) But guess what? It's working. A new poll puts his overall approval rating at just 42 percent. It plunges to just 36 percent for his handling of the economy. He's also getting criticism from Republicans and Democrats for initially saying he had no comment about the tragic fires in Hawaii that have killed at least 114 people. President will visit Maui tomorrow, but has refused to answer questions about the trip. Michael, why doesn't his economic message seem to resonate? And does he seem confused or something when he's being asked about Hawaii? Well, I think his uh, economic message is hard to resonate because inflation uh, is there. Things cost more. But if people took an objective view and went back and looked at where we were at and what was anticipated by both the Fed and all the economists out there, President Biden stopped the drainage that we were having. He's brought inflation to more normal numbers. He's been able to keep people and employment happening in the country. It's working. Um, And so I think it's hard for people to understand it, but it's a case that he'll make over the next couple of years. In terms of why he had no comment on Maui, I think he may have been just confused. How reelectable is he? Not very. Uh, And, you know, expecting Joe Biden to get better than he is now is like waiting for the Cardinals to turn the corner. I mean, he's not going to be more effective as a candidate a year from now than he is today. I think that's clear. Uh, They've got a real problem on their hands. Still to come on Hancock and Kelly, our quote of the week is from the St. Charles County Council on dress codes and drag at the library. Also, we talked Mizzou football with head coach Eli Drinkwitz. Kind of. 